Well, it's about 25 miles west of Amarillo, and I decided to go exploring <clears throat> in this little town called Vega, Texas. I don't know if you can see it, but over there on top of those silos, it says Vega, Texas Co-op. And it appears that this is one of those towns that's only got one stoplight. That's pretty much it, and you got the uh, Boot Hill Saloon and grill over there a little car wash and that looks like an auto parts place that's still in business actually there's two gas stations and another station down the road that seems to be closed the Fina station and the Shamrock station and I don't know what that used to be maybe a car dealership or something over on that corner there <coughs> Groneman Service Center. So, I guess we'll take a ride and explore a little bit of the town, what little there is. Lucy's Kitchen, huh. Little house made into a diner or something. First Baptist Church. The Wooden Spoon Cafe, looks like it's long been closed. Dairy Queen, looks like it's still operational. Now it appears there's another Operational gas station here, Conoco Station. Okay, since we're going out of town, let's turn around. When traffic is clear. And explore another part of the town. I like these cool old towns that are still struggling to stay alive. Makes you kind of wish they still were a little more alive, but they're doing what they can do, I guess, under the circumstances. Boys Ranch, Adrian, and Will Dorado. I think straight down there is Main Street downtown itself, it looks like. Let's take a little tour up here to the right first though and see if there's anything. A little better view of the Boot Hill Saloon. Hamburger house, but there's nothing there now. There used to be a hamburger house, I guess. Church of Christ, hey, those are pretty popular down south. Most of my relatives are Church of Christ in Arkansas. Uh, got the Farm Bureau. Oh, another little motel. The Bonanza Motel. Huh. Color TV, air conditioned, clean and quiet. Boy, that's like uh, from when I was a kid. There's actually a few cars parked there. So I guess it's still functioning too. There we go. Here's a real old... Let me pull to the side and let this car behind. There's a real old Texaco station there. I want to get a better view of it.
Probably is one of the original gas stations in town, really. There you can even barely read it. The sign is so faded and uh, rusty and everything, but yeah, an old original Texaco station. Oh my gosh, now you can just see it there, Route 66. This must be part of old Route 66. You can just barely make that out. Let's see if I can see it better on the backside. No, you can't hardly see anything on the backside. <laughs> Texaco sign's better, but you can't really see any. Nothing about Route 66. Well, it says right there in the window, historic Route 66. But yeah, an old Texaco station in the town of Vega. Let's cruise downtown. See what's going in downtown Vega. That's really cool when they're advertising color TV. They even have color television sets. Wow. I remember as a kid, the two things you wanted was a color television and swimming pool if you went on vacation. Probably mom and dad liked the swimming pool part too because the kids would stay busy and all they'd have to do is relax, sit by the pool. Okay, I think what we're doing now is going into actual downtown. Maybe, I'm guessing. See if I can figure out what anything is or what it used to be. Buy, sell, trade, an old junk dealer. That's some cool, cool old stuff. Yeah, I would guess this is the old, old downtown area. Super Sales Center. Rourke's Implement and Hardware Store. And calling yourself an implement store. Man, this has just got some, so much cool history. Here's the town square. Old Route 66. This looks like it's been more modernized. That must be the grocery store. Venture food store, so that's the only grocery store in town, probably of any size. I'm really glad I did uh, take the time before I got into Amarillo to go and explore the little historic town of Vega. And then back in there are some churches in all the neighborhood, obviously. City Hall. So that must be the original old courthouse in the middle of town square. Although I don't really know what they're using it for now. 